Hello and welcome to this new and exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use Invoice Simple. Invoice Simple is the world's simplest way to invoice your customers, either from your phone or from the laptop, and it saves you time and makes you stay organized. So to use Invoice Simple, you simply go to invoicesimple.com and I'll be leaving the link in the description of this video. At the top here, you click on uh, Login if you have an account, but you can also click on Try It For Free if you don't have an account. So you can now click on Sign Up at the top right corner here so that you can sign up for a free account. And that will bring you to this page. And this is where now you can create your invoice. So to create your invoice, you click at the top right corner here, New Invoice. And then you can now type your invoice name here. So we call, we want to call this invoice for order one, invoice for order one. And then, then from, you can add your business name here, but to make that easier, you click on settings so that these details will be added automatically to your invoice. So you can add the logo here, click on that, then go to your PC, add your logo. I want to use this logo, click on open. So our logo has been added there. And then we are going to add our name there. And then business owner name, and then business number, and then address. Then we can put the email there, and then the phone number, and then the mobile number, and then the website, and then the invoice template will appear this way. So we can customize that template, but we can also come down here, add the client signatures here, the type here. Is it on total? Is it the rate type? The rate here, we can put it in, in percentage, maybe 5%. And then the default invoice here, the invoice number, the notes, we can add the estimates. You notice here we have the invoice number. Then we have down here the currency. So you notice our currency currently is sent to Kenyan shillings. We can adjust that and then export this invoice. So on a different way, we can just click on customize template so that we are able now to customize this template. So we have these templates, we have the design, we have the second one, we have the third and fourth and all this. So we can customize the one that we want. We can choose the colors that we want. Maybe we want red, we want blue, whichever colors we want. So I want blue. So I'll click on blue and then select the one that I want. I can have the classic, the compact, the clean or the sharp. Let me use the sharp. So I'll click on sharp. And then now I can go back to settings there. So you now notice that our invoice, the details we added under our settings have been added to our invoice here. So you notice that's our invoice and it has been created so simply. So if now I go back to invoices here, you notice we have invoice 001 for this amount. I didn't put the amount. If I want to remove an invoice, I can click here and click on either I email it. I can get a link. So for instance, if I click on get link, you notice this is how our invoice will look like. Just the details we filled in. Remember, we didn't put the amount, but this is how it would look like. So this is how it looks like. So we can now click at the top here and we have our link here. Then we can either print this invoice or we can share the link with the person or with the client that we want. We can also search clients up here by name. If we have several invoices here, we can search here by name. So if we come to estimates, we can look for all estimates or estimates that are open or estimates that are closed. So if we have estimates that are open, we can add our estimate. We just click on add. So what is this? It's an estimate. You notice now automatically the details we added on our settings are added to our estimate here. Our work is simply to just add a few things here. So estimate B2. Maybe estimate budget two. And then if we, maybe we have done this estimate for a certain client, and then we have added the description here, item description. You want to say TV rates at uh, 50, quantity one, or let's say two, so that 
you notice the amount here will change to, you notice now our amount has changed to a thousand. We can add additional details. So we have new, maybe it's a new TV or old or used. If we want to add another description here, we click on add and then we can add the item here. Maybe it is a solar panel. We can add the rate here. It's maybe at 4,000 and then the quantity here is five. So you notice now we have all that. We can close the estimate or we can delete the estimate. So the estimate maker benefits of using this one. It helps you to easily change estimates to invoices with a single click and also organize your estimates without needing to put in any additional time. That's the beauty of using the estimates. So now we have our estimates added there. So the next time we have a client, we'll just use this estimate. So we can now send this to this person. We click on send and basically that estimate will be sent to our client. Now, because I've sent it to myself, if I go back to my email, you notice here we have new estimate 00 from JoshNet. I can open that. And then now you notice it's here. Our estimate has been sent here. So that's how you send estimates to your clients. For expenses, we can do the same. We can drag and drop receipts here. And Easy Express Tracker will scan any receipt and invoice and simply captures the key information automatically. For instance, for instance, if I click on upload receipt, I can add the receipt photo here. And then I go to my documents. I have a receipt here. I can click on add receipt, then click on open. And so my receipt will be added there. You'll notice that these details will automatically be added, merchant, category, date, total, and all that. So those details, I'm now able to get those details captured automatically from my receipt. And so we have that the description is still missing, but that's how you basically add that. So we can now click on close. And now the you notice now our merchant has been loaded here. The total, it's calculating the total. You notice the total has been added there. That's how you use expenses. For reports, this way you get your reports loaded. So you notice now our reports can be grouped in terms of tax here. It can also be loaded in terms of clients. If I click on clients, you notice we have tax here, here. We have invoice, we have whatever has been paid. We can also divide this in terms of items. If you click on items, we don't have the items reports here. But basically that is how you use invoice simple to create such simple and quick invoices in such a short time for your clients. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.